friends and welcome back to Happy Hot Home, a place where I provide inspiration and tips to turn any house into a fashionably elegant home. And today we are going to be talking about Christmas trees and I am going to give you my top 10 tips for decorating a Christmas tree. If any of you are struggling, then you will definitely want to tune in to this and get some tips on how to create a beautiful designer looking Christmas tree. I'm going to be going around to the different trees in our home and I'm going to be giving you my tips so you will definitely want to tune in if you are struggling and decorating your Christmas tree this year. Let's start with tip number 10 on how to decorate a beautiful Christmas tree. And this is very important. This is the first thing that you should do once you take it out of your box. And of course, this is for faux trees, not for realistic, real trees. Um, but what you need to do is fluff your Christmas tree right when it comes out of the box. It's very important to spread the branches because they have been smushed in the box over, over the probably 10 or 11 months that it has been sitting in your garage or wherever you have it. But it is very important to spread the branches to create a very full look to the tree. This tree in particular needs to be spread. It gets very packed in the box and the branches just get like turned in and it's very important to spread them to create a full look and not just the tip to bend it down but also these other smaller little branches that it's attached to this is generally a very um not a an extremely full tree uh, it is flocked, it has a lot of flocking on it, but it doesn't have an overabundance of branches. So I do take the smaller ones and I do try to move them over as well, just so not everything is compressed together. So number 10, fluffing is very important. Number nine, tip number nine, the lights that you add onto your tree. Lights are very important, especially with faux trees. When you are looking, if you are looking to buy a faux tree that is pre-lit, you want one with warm white lights. I personally am not a fan of the bluish LED lights. I don't like the look they give. I don't think it's calming. I don't think it's attractive. It doesn't have that romantic feel and I just stay away from those. The warm white lights are very important. So if you're stringing your own on a real tree, you want the warm white ones. And if you are looking for a pre-lit tree, you want to have, um, again, the warm white lights. And if you are stringing your own, you know, you want to try to hide the cords as much as possible. You know, the, my, I have pre-lit trees, but you can see like all the way back there that the cords are hidden very well. So if you're doing it yourself, you do want to stay as close to the stem as possible. Um, and that'll give you the best look. So you do want to hide the cords as much as possible. Another tip for lights, if you are adding uh, the white lights, Another thing sometimes I like to do is add a string, and this goes to even my pre-lit trees. Ones that are already pre-lit, I will add my own string of twinkling lights. If you've seen those in the store, I didn't do any this year, I did it last year, but it's just a string and every three or four lights blink. So it's not one of those obnoxious blinking on and off, on and off, completely unrelaxing trees that you've probably seen. I hate blinking trees, but I do like the just like a little piece over here that just has like a light little flicker and it just gives a pretty um, relaxing look to the tree. So you can string just maybe one or two within your branches, string it 
within your tree and it gives it a very, very pretty relaxing look. Tip number eight, creating your own tree topper as opposed to just putting a star or an angel on the tree, which looks very pretty. I love those as well. Just creating your own tree topper. I created this one on our kitchen tree by using several different type of picks, flowers, and stems. I also added ribbon to it, and I think it just creates a beautiful burst and it gives the top just a very, very full look. And it's not hard to do. And I do have a video, um, if you want to, I'll link it on how to create your own tree topper and the way that I attach everything together. Sometimes I do attach things together to keep them to stay, but also that will depend on the type of tree you have. If it's a dense tree and you can really stick those picks in and they're gonna stay, that's great, but if you don't, then you're gonna to need to put them together um, using wire and you know it, it gets a little more complicated. So you do have to know what type of tree you have and what it is, cap what you are capable of. Of course, it's easier just to put a star on top, but again, I'm giving you tips on how to create a beautiful designer tree. Tip number seven using ribbon and using ribbon in different widths, different lengths, different colors. Here I have created picks and I have a video on how to do this as well. I am using three different types of ribbon in different lengths and I am layering them together to create just very, very pretty dimensional look to the ribbon. So ribbon is very important. It's one of the things that I do splurge on. I do buy expensive ribbon. I know that is not in everyone's budget, but it is one of the things that if I did have to go, you know, less expensive on certain things, ribbon is where I don't chintz because ribbon is very impactful to a tree. So I do love using high end ribbon. And again, if that is possible, that is definitely a recommendation of mine. Tip number six, flowers. I add plenty of flowers to my trees. I add different colors and my favorites are by far magnolias and poinsettias. You can see I have a lot of gold poinsettias on my tree. I have white poinsettias, I have white magnolias, I have red magnolias. I do love adding flowers to the tree. I've done it for years and it just always creates such a pretty eye-catching focal point. When you look at the tree, you see the ornaments, you see the ribbon, but somehow your eye just gets drawn to these beautiful flowers. And I, the, the ones that I like the most are the ones with long stems that you can just put all the way back in the tree and they just face forward and they just look magnificent. They do have several of them that, you, that just have like a clip to them and they don't have a long stem and they're harder to use because they're more for clipping on a branch, but they don't face forward as much. So my tip is to get the long stems and you can find them at Michael's Hobby Lobby, the long stems and just insert them all the way into the back of the tree. Very easy, no need to attach them with any wires. They just, you know, sit and stick beautifully inside the tree. Next tip, the ornaments. Tip number five, adding ornaments of varying shapes, sizes, and colors. This tree is mostly gold and burgundy, and you can see there are different types of burgundy. This is more of um, a matte burgundy, and this is a burgundy that has little crystals on it. 
and here is an ornament with burgundy and gold and you can see they're just all different shapes and that's what gives the tree so much interest and the placement of ornaments do you see way back there i have ornaments that are deep in the tree and they give different dimensions so you don't want to take all your ornaments and just hang them on the tips you want to go deep back into the tree and add several layers of ornaments depending on how dense your tree is if there is a lot of space you can add the really big ones in back and leave the smaller ones for front but if it is equally dense all the way throughout the tree, then you can add different sizes in the back and in the front, if that makes sense. So it really does just depend on the, what type of tree you have because one size does not fit all when decorating a tree. And you can see these are shiny and not matte. Here is another one that is burgundy and gold and glass. There are just different types and you all have heard me talk about how much I love ornament sets, you know, that they're put together for you and everything is already has been done. All the guesswork is taken out of it. So you get all of the ornaments already in the shapes and sizes, but if you are creating your own, you definitely want to look for different shapes, sizes, and colors within your color palette. Tip number four, to create more interest to the tree. On this heavily flocked tree, I have added a layer of snow, and I have added the layer of snow in the form of white boas and I add them deep back into the tree as well because you want to create that dimension. There's a little elf back there. Um, deep back into the tree and on the tips. So in on this tree, um, as you know, most natural Christmas trees do come down, the bottom layer, the branches are going to be wider. So I have create, I have layered two layers of uh, feathers on the bottom branch. Not on all the layers do I need to add the feathers because as you can see, they get thinner as we go up. But on the bottom where the branches are very wide, I do have two layers. And it just creates the beautiful snowy look. You know how much I love it. And it's just, it's so pretty. It, it is just so pretty and I know a lot of you have commented I've given this suggestion before and you all just absolutely like love this suggestion and you've done it to your own trees and you just love the look tip number three for decorating a Christmas tree adding gift boxes to the bottom of the tree and it just gives your tree a finished look and they're just so pretty the way that they sit under the tree and if you can layer them in different sizes and put different color ribbons on them it just adds to the whole aesthetic look and feel of the tree as you can see on my red and white tree i added some tiffany blue added some white satin ribbon tied them up and it just creates such a pretty finished look over here i have some white and gold boxes and i added a teal ribbon to it and yes you can use the boxes it's not just all for looks you can if you want to use all these boxes take the ribbon off fill them with gifts for your family and friends for christmas is not just all for aesthetics so yes they are usable obviously now it's not christmas so when i decorated this in november they are all empty but yes i can use them all and they are all usable so that is a, another tip to create just a beautiful tree Tip number two, adding garland and whims whimsical picks and sprays to your tree. On our dining room tree, I added this really pretty beaded garland. 
I think I had four of them and I just layered them throughout the tree. And they're pretty, they match the color scheme. They are pearl colored and gold and just adding just a few of them, very, very thin around the tree just creates another beauty and dimension to the tree. You can see I have the magnolia picks here and these are in a cream colored. I have cream colored magnolias. I have white ones, I have red ones. I just have so many of them, I love them. But yes, so adding the beaded garland is just another way just to create a very, very beautiful look. And I have these picks right here. These are gold pine cones. And I've added several of those to the tree and they again create just beautiful dimension. Here's another example of a big gap in the tree and I have added ornaments way back there just to fill in the gap. So again, depending on the density of your tree, if you do have a lot of gaps back there, it's a great place to put ornaments. See that very large one back there? These flat leaf glittery picks I love. I insert them into the tree and I have them facing downward. And again, it just creates that really pretty like downswept look to the tree. So I do want to show you this, these really cute sprays that I just got in the mail. I ordered them a while ago and I just got them in the mail and I absolutely love them. They're just these little bursts of silver and gold icicle looking little sprays and they're, they're just so pretty. Look at them. I love them. They just... They add a lot to the tree. I continue adding things to the tree all the way throughout Christmas. So make sure you come back and check out the whole home tour because I do continue adding things all the way up to Christmas as things are getting delivered. And there do seem to be quite a few delays this year. And my number one tip to create a beautiful Christmas tree, designer looking Christmas tree, is think about the color scheme before you get started. You want everything to coordinate well with the color of your tree. If you, are, if you have a faux tree, you'll notice that there are more and more faux trees and different colors of faux trees that are coming out. Even varying shades of green. Some are darker green, some are lighter green. I actually got one tree one year that had a bluish tint to it. It was a flocked tree and it had this bluish tint to it and it was, in my opinion, extremely unattractive. I ended up returning it, but you just have to pay attention to things like that when you do buy a Christmas tree. And as I said, even with the green trees, you know, some of them have a little bit of an icicle look to them, you know, which is very pretty. It just gives a little bit of a um, icy look, you know, that it's rained and some icicles are forming and it's beautiful. Love that. But, you know, something like that can also determine the theme for your tree. So it is important to think about the type of tree you have and pick a coordinating color scheme. Flocked trees, and you've heard me say this before, you know, not everything is going to look well, look nice with a heavily flocked tree. Red and white looks very pretty. White ornaments look very pretty, but not all colors are going to look pretty with a flocked tree. So something to keep in mind. So those are my 10 tips. I hope you like them. It's kind of a rainy day here in Virginia, but I hope you like the tips. I hope you are having fun decorating your tree at home. I'm having fun over here. I am going to be decorating our foyer tree, our 12 foot tree. So hopefully I can get that video out on Saturday. And I hope you are enjoying the videos and we have more to come. 
So please like, subscribe, share. You all have been amazing to me. Thank you very much. It is very much appreciated. And I will continue getting out as much content as I can for you. All right, take care. Bye.